guys, I did a order on COS maybe last week. Um, if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram then you would have seen the things I bought. But this little jumpsuit was one of the things that I purchased. The tag is still on it because I'm still not 100% sure whether I'm keeping it or not. It's £70. Um, and, hello, <laughs> if you heard footprints up Lena. And I love the colour of it, obviously, because it's green. But it's just, um, I just don't know. Like, I love the fabric too because it's linen. But it's so, like, oh no, I do really love it. I do really, really like it, actually. Yeah, I think I might keep it, actually. <laughs> I'm going to wear this today. I need to take the tag out in a minute, but it's got pockets, it's super airy, super floaty. I think it's just going to be perfect for warm, kind of humid days. Um, but here's like the close up, it's got like the cutest little ties on the shoulder too. And I'm probably just going to be wearing flip flops because I'm not going out anywhere apart from downstairs to the garden to let Lena Rue out for the toilet. But um, yeah, this is from Cos, size extra small. I'm five foot three and this is it like lengthwise. I think if I was to actually kind of like venture out and go like shopping or like meetings or meet people or like go in central London and get tubes and whatnot, I would probably wear like cycling shorts underneath because it's so floaty. If I'm going upstairs or if the wind blows, I just get worried someone will catch a glimpse of my cheek and we don't want that. So I'm not actually gonna do my makeup today because I have no intentions of actually going out but my hair is so greasy it just feels really dry i think because of this heat it just feels really dry and like it just feels a bit dead you know um to be fair i have been putting heat on it but i have been using heat defense spray but um i think it's just the weather and stuff and i'm trying to train it again to like not wash it as often so um it just feels really greasy and like blah but i'm gonna put it back today because cba and um, I'm actually really enjoying a low ponytail. It's great for when you're having a greasy hair day. Um, and my hair's actually got quite long now, so it doesn't look too silly because my hair is so thick. When um, it was a little bit shorter, it just used to be like really puffy and like poofy and like the ponytail would be so thick. But because it's actually uh, a little bit greasy today, been sleeping on it so it's a little bit flatter I think I can get away with it um but I did actually purchase this silver Garni scrunchie last week I got it in a sale I believe for like 16 pounds I don't think it's online anymore because I tried to find it to link it to my friend but yeah I couldn't find it but I believe either Harrods or Liberty sell it but I don't know whether it's in sale on them anyway I'm obsessed and it's just like a really cute little fun way to make my hair a bit more interesting. Do you know what I mean? I don't know, I just love it. And then I think I'm gonna do some chunky gold hoops. Uh, if you don't know by now, I love to mix metals. So the silver scrunchie and gold earrings do not bother me in the slightest. I actually really like it. Um, but I know for some people that would be a huge no-no. I mean, look at these little flicky hairs. And then for perfume, the Labo Santel 33. Oh, I just love it. I probably do way too many, but I'm just obsessed with the smell. This was kindly sent to me, so this was PR gifted, and I am forever grateful for receiving this because it's just something. I still think the Labo Matcha 26 is my number one favourite, but this comes in second without a doubt. One of my favourite things to do for Lena is, <laughs> is 
She has this teeny tiny little Kong um, and I fill it with peanut butter and blueberries and that is her absolute favourite. And she's been such a good girl today. She's been such a good girl today that, you know, I think she deserves a little treat. I know, darling, I'm going to give it to you. Um, but I have to show you, it's just the cutest thing. Stay. Yes, good girl. <laughs> Honestly, definition of puppy dog eyes. Hey, you must be Dwight. As we go, this marks my room. Thanks. I know you might want to. Hey, it's Katie. Um, actually, yeah, the time's going on. Think about this. What is the most exciting thing that can happen on TV? I haven't seen any of these. No. Yeah. Well, you did. Because I know where you hit diamonds. I've been on to you and your little friend. You just said it. It's meant to be improv. Uh, it's like, do you know the ball? Lena! Hi! Hi! Good morning everyone. It is Saturday and we are in Covent Garden to check out the new Majuri store which has just opened on King Street. It's really close to all the other shops and cafes. It's in a really great spot. But I want to check out the new gelato range. I'm excited to see it, excited to see the colours and I might potentially look at getting a new ring. So let's go! beautiful like it, the layout is so gorgeous it's like quite spacious which is really nice because you feel like you're not going to kind of get in people's way it's also aircon so on a hot summer's day it's just perfect and, ice cream. and there's ice cream but that's currently for the gelato collection um and yeah i think there's like lavender and pistachio flavored ice cream which is always a bonus but um, the pieces are beautiful, it's all laid out really, really nicely as well. And the staff are so friendly. Like as soon as I went in there, someone asked if I wanted any help and was really approachable. And then I even tried on a few rings. I was drawn to the sparkly ones, surprisingly. I didn't think that I was gonna be a sparkly ring gal, but I was drawn to them, tried them on, and I did really like them, as you would have seen in the clips. But um, there is also a piercing studio downstairs as well, so you can book an appointment, get your ears pierced, I didn't actually go downstairs to check it out, but from what I've seen online, it looks really, really lovely. So definitely check it out. Come to the new store and um, yeah, let me know what you think.